We're back in New York and Hollywood, and I am honored to be standing with Sonia Maddox Upchurch and Phil Upchurch. You just got off the stage. <laughs> we did indeed. How are you feeling? Very invigorated. Exhilarated. And what really, what, really, uh, what really made my heart feel good were the kids on the side. They were so into it and happy and stuff, and that really made it for me. That, 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 I love those kids. Oh, they loved you. <laughs> about this uh, partnership and all that you've accomplished together over the years? I'll let her tell you. Okay. No, you talk about me, I'll talk about you. How's that? <laughs> Good bargain. Okay, uh, she came to my house to for me to play on a demo. I had never met her before. And um, so when she walked in the door and sat on that stool, <laughs> I was just blown away. You know, it's some her, her um. vibe, you know. <laughs> And I just looked at her and I said, mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was talking, she was actually referring to the uh, music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, this is better. I'd rather get you the good stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, she, I played it to a song for her, an instrumental. She said, I love it. I love to put lyrics to it. And it, the song was not intended for lyrics. And I said, uh, she kept saying, yeah, I want to do it. I want to do it. So I said, I tell you what, go ahead and work on it. If I like the lyrics, we're good to go. And sure enough, we're good to go with that one. Wow. And that was the start of our writing career, my first songwriting partner. Out of 50 Very years first, of music. out of 50 years of music. Incredible. And over 2,000 records. And he's a staff, he was a staff musician at Chess, and he's played with Curtis Mayfield. They were music partners. He had the first recording studio, in, home studio in Chicago. And that was back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my husband has huge credentials. And what we've decided is that God intended us to have a music marriage ministry where we touch souls in the music industry and in the entertainment industry through our craft. I'm an actress and I've made my living um, on camera, shooting commercials, film, television, voiceover, and music. So Phil and I are combining those talents together in uh, writing and sharing. Wow. And um, when Sherry and Dennis initially approached us about performing, putting the, the band together, we said, okay. We didn't actually know how it was, so I interviewed them about it. I want to know, and I did the, watch the videos on the website and, you know, talk to a lot of people that I found have children with autism. A lot of musicians have oh, really? children with autism. Um, Shaka Khan and Tammy um, McCrary, her, her sisters, our manager, they recently released a uh, documentary on children with autism. Because they have autistic children, mm. and we they wanted to be here, but she's in Singapore performing mm. right now. So that was we were finding that the more and more you reach out, the more people are really in love with helping CSUN. And so we were talking about um, a lot of celebrities, a lot of people in the industry that have kids with um, learning challenges. Um, what do you feel the role is in music and that affects the kids? What is it about the music? that affects the kids and why do they enjoy it so much? Well, my take on it is that it's from heaven. Music is from heaven and heaven always creates things that edify and build up. And when, when God says praise him, praise his name and celebrate him in, in song and dance, um, that's what makes him happy. So it also makes the children happy to know, I, I think, that when their music comes to them, they're being touched by God and they're experiencing his greatness and that completes them mm. that stimulates them and gives them life and purpose and challenges them to do, want to do more and scientifically music um, is of the minds of geniuses a lot of geniuses mm -hmm. um, you find that a lot of um, great artists have had some type of emotional challenges or um, some type of diagnosis where they may not have seemed normal to the outside world, but they're geniuses. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at geniuses, little geniuses here, wow. I believe. Wow, thank you for sharing that. Um, what's next for you guys after you leave here today? What's the next exciting thing that we should look for, listen to? Autobiography, I'm always writing and composing. Uh, Maybe not a lot of compositions, but in the last year, I've composed 40 new pieces. 
And I, I'm mostly doing that, and I'm just, until it feels right, until everything feels right, then we'll release the CD. You know, yeah. Well, you know, we have a blueprint for business, but you have to always be open and go with the flow because you never know what door is going to open another. Right. So, as I moved here pursue, to pursue my career as a full-time actress, I didn't believe that my music, my music was dormant. And I had a role in a short film that made it to the Cannes Film Festival and received a lot of accolades for it. And I sang three of the songs in there as well, and I was the lead actress. And we made it to the 12th 2005 Oscars. And that's what stimulated music in my life again. So it changed my direction. So as that opened up, when my husband and I were married, I became his manager. So I'm an actress, singer, songwriter, producer. I do all of these things, which come in hand because when I used to be on the board of directors at Screen Actors Guild, um, I was there 14 and a half years chairing a lot of committees. And when Sherry and I met, um, that's what led me in to do some consulting with the AFM to help bring funds um, to the singers and musicians. And I'm very passionate very passionate about helping musicians and singers wow. right now. I can't believe the energy that you both have and the productivity that you have. It's just, it's overwhelming. And we're so lucky to have oh. you here today. Thank you so much for coming and Thank you. sharing your talents. We'll look for your work as an actress. We'll look for your music work. Um, we're going to keep our eyes on you and it, it just sounds like uh, the world's your oyster. Thank you, and God bless you too. And we'll keep your eyes on you too. Okay. And of, of course, I like to throw this in. Of course, I'm writing my autobiography. Yeah. <laughs> I want to read it. Of course, I'm yeah, writing it. Yeah. Good story. Yeah, I'm oh, about yeah. halfway through. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for it. Thank All you. right. Now. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.